everybody. I'm going to heaven. I mean, that's fair. You're a good person. But what is God's standard? What is God's standard to see if you're good enough to go to heaven? If you've ever been in the courtrooms of America, you'll see the Ten Commandments. This is God's standard. Let's examine yourself to see if you're good enough to go to heaven. The Ninth Commandment is thou shalt not lie. Let's be honest, we've all lied before. Most of you say, come on, everybody lies. That's true. But if you have a child who lies to the teacher, if you don't give your son a hug and say, it's okay, sonny, everybody lies. No, you'll be offended at the father. The eighth commandment is thou shalt not steal. The values are relevant for a holy God. If you cheated on a test, you'd be stealing answers. The third commandment is thou shalt not take the Lord's name in vain. Walk up and down New York City, and guess what I hear? Somebody taking God's name in vain. You don't take your mother's name in vain. You don't take your father's name in vain. But you take the God of the universe. The air in your lungs is a gift from God. And you turn his name into a four-letter filth word. The Bible says you'll be held accountable on judgment day. But let's be honest. To God's standard, we'll all be guilty. The Bible says all have sinned. All have felt short of the glory of God. There's not one that is righteous. God is holy and just. The Bible says God is angry with the wicked every single day. So if we have a point before God, we're going to be guilty. The Bible says what you've done in the dark will be shown in the light on Judgment Day. Every idle word be like somebody put a 20-foot TV screen about everything you've done your whole life and broadcast on there. You'd probably run out of here. You'd be ashamed. Well, that's what God, you have eyes to see. So does God. He sees all things. you got to get out of this mindset. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Because God sees everything. You're going to be guilty before a holy God. Let's be honest. The Bible says the wages of sin is death. How are we going to stand before a holy, righteous God? If God stood next to the sun, the sun would look pitch dark. But the thing is, my friends, that we're going to be guilty. But the good news is, 2,000 years ago, somebody walked the face of this earth that was perfect, without sin. And they will to lay your life down in your place, in my place, and pay for your sins. And His name is Jesus Christ. Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, the life. Nobody goes to the Father except Jesus Christ. The Lord for salvation and the other. There's no name under heaven given amongst men in which you must be saved except through Jesus Christ. Jesus took the wrath of God for your sins so you'd be innocent on judgment day. Jesus did this, took the wrath of God and said, come on, come to heaven. He took the wrath of God. Praise so the Lord. you'd be innocent before a holy God on judgment day. And Jesus said, nobody takes my life. I freely give it. I could send out legions and angels. Oh, but he loved us that much that he would die in your place. The Bible said there is no greater love except for a friend to lay his life down. And that is the good news, my friend. That is the good news. That Jesus Christ would die in your place. So you would have everlasting life. You need to repent and put your trust in Jesus Christ. Because it's all said and done with, my friends. We all will go before a holy, righteous God. We'll all stand before God. We're all going to stand. Everything you've done in the dark will be shown in the light. He's going to say, what did you do with my son, Jesus Christ? Please do not reject the free gift of everlasting life. The Bible says, from the time the world was created, you can see the earth from the sky. And all that God created. You see the beautiful qualities, the eternal power, the divine nature. So we have not knowing God. You know, you see a building, you know there was a builder. Look at the moon and the stars, there was a creator. God spoke his creation into existence, but he suffered to redeem you through his blood. Oh, what an awesome gift. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. Oh, what an awesome gift. God is the love of the world, he gave his only begotten Son. Whoever believes in him should not perish have everlasting life. Oh, please listen to the good news today. Stop playing games with your soul. Stop playing games. What good is it to gain the world and lose your soul? I have said. What good is it? What good? What are you willing to sell your soul for? The Bible says no drunkard will enter heaven. No fornicator. No adulterer. No homosexual. First Corinthians six nine. You don't, you don't need to get your mind altered to have a good 
good time, my friend. Be filled with the Holy Spirit. Let God fill you, not with alcohol. You don't have to be intoxicated. You're in bond where the alcohol. Amen. He came to set the captive free. He came to set you free. Eight years ago, he set me free. I wasn't in bondage to alcohol anymore. He set me free. And any man being Christ is a new creation. Old things pass. All things become new. You can be clean slate. No matter what you've done your whole life, you cannot out -sin the grace of God. You cannot out -sin the grace of God. This is the good news. Oh, man. Somebody had to die for our sin. And Jesus willingly laid his life up and died in your place. He died in your place, paid for your sin with his blood. And he said it's finished. Tell us thy Greek word, be alcohol. Put your trust in Jesus Christ. Not in alcohol, not in drugs, not in premarital sex. Put your trust in Jesus Christ. Your soul is so precious. Either you spend eternity in heaven or hell. Praise the Lord, man. No Gospel's being Praise the Lord, man. Praise the Lord, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's all about Jesus Christ. Thank you for your time. We got three Bibles. Help yourself. Gospel of John's I got left. Gospel of John. We got three Bibles.